Our proximity to the river means that during our stormwater insulation, we're heavily impacted by the tidal movements and the water table level due to Hilton Terrace, as we all know, being quite a low laying area. So these challenges meant that we had to do a lot of uh, pumping out of water during the installation of the stormwater line. So the $3 million Hilton Terrace upgrade projects included the installation of the new roundabout at the intersection of Ernest Street and Hilton Terrace. The intersection was identified as one of the most busiest intersections in the Shire. The installation of the roundabout itself will help traffic to flow through the intersection and um, hopefully reduce the congestion we find through this area. It's also included the um, finalisation of the shared pedestrian footpath around the back of Tate House, dedicated cycleways along the Hilton Terrace corridor, as well as the installation of new over 900 metres of new footpath. We've installed over a kilometre's worth of new curb and channel. We've installed over 850 metres of new stormwater drainage beneath the roadway itself. We're now addressing the final stage of the asphalt works. The night works will be focusing on the roundabout and Ernest Street considering they're a little bit more technical to do under traffic. Whereas the day works will be then finishing the rest of Hilton Terrace for Monday and Tuesday. So the contractors worked really closely with the residents where we've had reports about them helping people carrying their shopping or their luggage from their car that they couldn't park at front of their house down to their residence. They've also been doing um, constant updates of any works as it progresses so that all residents feel informed about what's going on at the front of their properties. The $3 million Hilton Terrace upgrade has been done in conjunction with state funding. So part of their contribution has really helped us to deliver this job safely and to bring a good quality finish to the, to the project.